I want to talk about uh, a concept uh, you can apply to a 251 chord progression. Now, a 251 chord progression is commonly associated with jazz, but it also gets used in rock and pop and other genres of music as well. The 251 refers to the second, fifth, and first chords of the scale. So if you're in the key of C, C, D, second note of the scale, D minor chord, C, D, E, F, G, fifth note of the scale, A, G7 chord, and then the one is C. In a jazz context, these chords are often played as minor seven for the two chord, so D minor seven, G7 for the five chord, and then C major seven or C major nine for the one chord. Okay, so those are our chords. Now, um, often when talking about addressing uh, two five one, you're going to hear talk of uh, such such dark topics as modes, uh, chord tones, arpeggios. Uh, you know, th these are ways to play through the changes. But um, a lot of my course is aimed at guitarists that are sort of comfortable with the blues, uh, you know, pentatonic warriors, for lack of a better term, uh, and perhaps haven't addressed a lot of uh, jazz theory yet. So I want to show you a, an easy way to play through a 2 5 one chord progression using uh, our old friend the minor pentatonic scale. So let's take the D minor 7 chord first, all right, the 2 chord in the key of C. You're just going to play D minor pentatonic in the root position. So that's going to be up at the 10th fret on the low E string with your first finger. The notes are going to be D, F, G, A, C, and then, and then the scale repeats because it's just a five note scale. D, F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D, and then the high F if you want it. Okay, so there's your root position minor pentatonic scale. Why does this work against the D minor 7 chord? Well, you basically have all the chord tones. D is the root of the chord, F is the third of the chord, um, the note G is, is an extension which would make the chord into a D minor 11, which is a pretty sounding chord. Um, A is the fifth of the chord, C is the minor 7th or flat 7 of the chord. So if you leave out the fourth, you actually get a D minor 7 arpeggio from that pentatonic scale. So basically what I'm saying is you can't go wrong with that scale against that chord. Everything's going to sound pretty and resolved, okay? Now, as we move to the five chord in this key, in this case G7, we're going to take our D minor pentatonic scale in the root position and we're just going to move the scale up a half step, i.e. one fret, okay? So you're going to start now on D sharp and you're just going to play the same scale. sharp minor pentatonic. Now, in the context of playing this against the G7 chord, you're going to get all sorts of hip uh, altered tones. So, for example, uh, D sharp is the sharp 5 of G7, which is an altered kind of sound. F sharp is the uh, natural 7th, uh, even though the chord contains a flat 7, so that's a, a nice little rub. Um, I think of this, uh, I think of G sharp here as A flat, because to me it's the flat 9 of the chord, which is a hip little extension. You also have the sharp 9 of the chord, A sharp, and you have D flat here, which is our old friend, the flat 5, which if you play the blues scale, you know. Which I'm sure you have. Uh, that gives you that note as well. So you get all these great altered tones. Sharp 5, natural 7, flat 9, sharp 9, flat 5, and then it starts over again. So against this chord, you get this kind of altered sound, which, you know, sounds very, very jazzy, it creates a lot of tension. And what do we need after tension? A massage. I can't help you with that. We need a resolution, okay? So on the one chord, the C major 7, we're going to take our D sharp minor pentatonic, we're going to move it up one more half step, one more fret, and that's going to give us E minor pentatonic, okay? And what does that do against C major 7? Well, gives us nice chord tones again for resolution. The E 
the, the root note of the scale there is the third of uh, C major 7, which is the strongest chord tone. The G is the fifth. A is the sixth or thirteenth, which is a nice, um, you know, melodic extension. B is the seventh of the chord. And then D is the ninth, which is another extension that won't uh, raise any eyebrows. So basically, you're just adding these nice chord tones and extensions to the C chord. So let me say that again. On D minor 7, the 2 chord, you play the matching minor pentatonic. So if it was G minor 7, you play G minor pentatonic. But in this case, D minor 7, D minor pentatonic. As we move to G7, go up a half step and it's going to get a little tense. And then we can resolve that again as we move to C major 7 by going up to one more half step and that gives E minor pentatonic, okay? There are two ways of doing this. Um, you can wait two beats on the G7, stay on D minor pentatonic and then just move for the last two beats to D sharp. That creates less tension. Or if you really want to get it kind of outside sounding, you can spend the whole of the G7 on the, uh, on the D sharp minor. But your resolution needs to be strong when you get back to C Otherwise, your audience will, uh, will throw uh, assorted wild animals at you if you haven't been playing on, on a farm, which is weird. A one, two, three, four, D minor pentatonic. D sharp. D minor. D minor pentatonic. 